What is going on guys? John here from Cooking with John. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Today we're going to be grilling up a whole chicken on the grill. We're going to be cooking half of a chicken with barbecue sauce. I've been doing the whole chicken, two different pieces. I'm going to go ahead and take the chicken, cut it in half with a knife, spice it up, put some olive oil on it, then I'm going to throw it on the grill for about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes and we'll have some very delicious tasting barbecue chicken with some sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. And I'll also be including a baked potato as a side to this meal, so it'll be kind of like a whole dinner video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this chicken, we're going to make our, sure our cutting board's on a nice, solid, stable surface, and we're just going to cut this chicken in half with a serrated knife. It shouldn't take too long. And I would recommend using a like a large butcher knife, you know, like a meat cleaver, but I don't actually have one of those, so I'm using a serrated knife to kind of saw through the meat. Next thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna transfer our half chickens onto a pan. And of course, I've already started up the grill. The coals are heating up as we speak. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna add olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, because Nikki likes it spicy, and just a little bit of thyme, my favorite spice to pronounce. <laughs> but this really brings out the flavor in the chicken. I, I almost spice every roasted chicken I do with thyme now. All right, and then we're gonna take our, and we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna rub this all in on both sides of the chicken, just like so. And our next step is going to be to bring it out to the grill when the coals are done warming up. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to barbecue this, like I said, for an hour to an hour and 30 minutes, depending on how fast it cooks. And we're going to flip it about every 10 to 15 minutes. So this is very time intensive. It's pretty labor intensive, but the result taste of the chicken is so worth it. It's going to taste so good. And I know Nikki's going to love it. And now we're going to prepare the baked potatoes while the potato fork baking. And I'm using a very large fork just to poke holes in every side of the potato, and we're gonna wrap it up in foil. And we're gonna throw it right on the grill for about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. So we'll throw these on after the chicken has already started. When you poke holes in the potato, it allows for the heat to get in and mix with the air on the inside of the potato just a whole lot easier. So we're gonna take these, and we're gonna wrap them up. We're gonna set them aside, and we're gonna throw them on the grill. So our coals are hot enough, and we're gonna go ahead and place the chicken down first. We're gonna go ahead and cover it up. We're gonna let that cook for about 10 to 20 minutes. I'll come out here and I'll check it periodically. We'll kind of see what's going on. And then we'll flip it over. We'll cook it for 10 to 20 minutes. Again, we'll check it and then we'll get that skin nice and brown in the first 45 minutes to an hour. Then I'll come out here after the hour mark and start applying barbecue sauce to the chicken while it's cooking and it'll come out tasting absolutely delicious. All right, and so now we've been going for about 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna take our chicken and we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna cover it right back up. We're gonna let it cook for another 10 to 15 minutes and we'll come back out and check on it. So it's been about 10 minutes and uh, as you can see, the skin is starting to get a little brown here. This side is hotter than this side. As you can see, we're getting a little darker brown color on the chicken skin, which means this piece is cooking faster than this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this half of the chicken over here. Then I'm gonna move this one to this side so I can kind of distribute out the cooking of the chicken. Good. Put that right there. Got about an hour to go, so I did go ahead and throw the potatoes on the grill. Those will take about one hour, and then you have an awesome grilled baked potato. And the grill's running just a little hot today, so we're about, uh, I would say this is maybe between 10 and 15 minutes, so I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna flip it over instead of the full 20, because uh, it's cooking cooking nice and hot. I'm going to leave it on for at least 45 minutes to an hour before I check the internal temperature. And for chicken on the grill, we want the inside of the chicken breast to be 160 degrees or more. I like to have it right around 165, 170. Anything beyond that, you really kind of start to lose uh, moisture in the meat. But this will be done in no time and it's going to taste so good. And I just flipped the chicken over again. It's starting to get really kind of a uh, little bit charred, so it's cooking along really well. It's been on for about 45 minutes. I think in about 15 minutes, I'll go ahead, I'll take the temperature. I'll keep flipping it over every five minutes. And I also have been 
just moving the potatoes around to different spots to make sure that they're getting a sufficient amount of heat. But this is gonna be awesome. So the chicken's been on for about 50 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead to check the internal temperature here. And we're actually gonna start applying barbecue sauce to the outside of the chicken uh, to kind of help keep the moisture inside and reduce the actual cooking of the chicken skin. So we'll get that barbecue sauce on there. It'll cook up and it'll be absolutely delicious. Uh, looks like we're hovering right around 140 degrees. We'll see if it stops there. Yep, looks like we're right on 140 degrees. So we've got 20 more degrees to go on the internal temperature of the chicken and we will be done. And I just like to take this barbecue sauce bottle squirt it right on the chicken just like that. Nikki loves this type of barbecue sauce. That's why I chose the honey barbecue sauce of Sweet Baby Ray's. And I take my barbecue brush and I just simply brush it around. Try to cover the whole surface of the chicken with barbecue sauce so when I flip it over the sauce will start absorbing a lot of the heat. It'll caramelize, it'll taste delicious. Make sure we get this wing. We'll let that cook for a few more minutes and then we'll go ahead and we'll flip it over. We're gonna flip the chicken over just like this. We're also gonna turn our baked potatoes over. And we're going to put the barbecue sauce on this side of the chicken. Let me tell you what, that skin looks absolutely perfect. It's a nice golden brown, it looks nice and crispy. Cover in barbecue sauce. Good. Check on the chicken. It's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it over. Add one more coat of barbecue sauce to this side. We'll flip it back over in about five to 10 minutes, add one more coat of barbecue sauce and it'll probably be done. Let's go ahead and get a temperature on these bad boys. All right, so it looks like we're at about 170 degrees on each piece. Make sure we check them both all the time. And then I like to poke around. Once it says it's done, you'll poke around, check your temperatures in the legs, the thighs, the breast. All very important, but yeah, it looks like she is done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put a little bit more barbecue sauce on, flip these over just a few times to kind of get that, uh, that barbecue sauce to caramelize up. It'll stick to the meat a little better. It'll taste really just nice and tangy. It's gonna be delicious. But this is pretty much done. This is looking pretty good. So I flipped it over, added just a little bit more sauce. I'll be taking it off momentarily here. I'm almost positive my potatoes are probably done. So uh, we'll give everything about five more minutes on the grill. Might flip it over one or two more times. And it'll be done. I came apart. There's a chicken breast. Five. There. Get the potatoes. And Nikki and I are gonna enjoy a early dinner before date night. And here is today's finished product. We have a whole chicken that's been halved, and then we have two baked potatoes. So I'm gonna plate it up, and let me tell you what. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. And here we have another fabulous dinner. I'll see if maybe I can eat some of this chicken, but uh, the potato is pretty much done. There's good. The chicken, I cannot wait to try this chicken. Oh. Mmm. That is so good. Oh, man. That barbecue flavor is absolutely delicious. When you grill it on the barbecue with coals, it just, mm, it catches so much of that smoke in the barbecue sauce and it tastes so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. We've got a little bit here for Nikki. We'll see if she wants to take a bite on camera, but I'm looking forward to eating this meal. All right, Nikki's gonna go ahead, give it a taste. I think it's gonna be so good. Oh, this chicken smells and tastes delicious. Mm. Tastes just like chicken. Yep. <laughs> With sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce. That's my favorite brand. That's why I did it. Mm. That's what I told the video, people, audience. You did? Yeah. I didn't know you knew that. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. I am John from Cooking with John. I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal for dinner. And as always, I appreciate you guys tuning into the show. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. We'll see you next week with more cooking from me, John.